Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's reaction video is going to be another new artist. I've not heard of this guy before. This is Logic featuring Alessia Cara and Khalid. And this is his song 1-800-273-8255. Now I have read up a little bit about this. It is the, I believe, the suicide hotline number. This is going to be interesting. I think this is going to be another emotional one. <laughs> so I hope it, I can keep it together. <laughs> um, if I don't, I don't. This is a reaction video after all. So it's going to be addressing suicide and depression and things like that, judging by the fact that the number is the suicide prevention hotline. So anyway, let's get into this video and see what it's about. <laughs> Oh, it's Don Cheadle. <laughs> oh, cutie. The baby, I mean, not John Don Cheadle. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh, he's growing up. I've been on a low, I've been taking my time. I feel like I'm out of my mind. I feel like my life ain't mine. Who can relate? Ooh. I've been on a low, I've been taking my time I feel like I'm out of my mind It feel like my life ain't mine I don't Sorry to, to stop it I know John, Don Cheadle is in, in this, he was in the beginning um, And I recognised that, that coach guy as well That was on the side of the track just then And I can't think what I've seen him in I'll have to find out or leave a comment down below um, and let me know what sort of things he's been in what his name is because I do recognize him from something um, so far I absolutely love this the lyrics um, are awesome and the vocal I love this guy's voice wow yeah I, I love I love that I love that vocal so let's carry on and see what happens I don't want to be alive I don't want to be alive I just want to die today I just want to die They think they know it I've been praying for somebody to say me no one's heroic And my life don't even matter I know it, I know it I know I'm hurting deep down but can't show it I never had a place to call my own I never had a home Ain't nobody calling my phone Where you been, where you at, what's on your mind They say every life precious but nobody care about mine I've been on a low, I've been taking my time I feel like I'm out of my mind Sorry, I'm just going to stop it there Okay, um, I think I can see where this is going Oh, these lyrics are just so heartfelt. But that's the problem. You see, there are people that feel like that, that they're crying out for help. They they need help. They they feel that, that life is not worth it. And a young guy of this young age that's already given up, that already feels like life isn't worth it. So, so sad. And I'm kind of guessing when he walked into his house and he saw his dad sat at the table, I think that magazine was it a, a, a gay magazine, probably shamed and embarrassed and just, all right, let's carry on. I feel like my life ain't mine. Who can relate? Poor dad. Ooh. I've been it's a shock. Low. I've been taking my time. I feel like I'm out of my mind. It feel like my life ain't mine. I want you to be alive. Um, so I'm guessing that's his best friend. Is there something going on between them, or are they just like friends? And he's he's his, his best friend understands who he is. Gone from I don't want to be alive to it's kind of almost like somebody saying I want you to be alive. Okay. Another shocker. Bless him. Now 
that's two homes that he feels ashamed to be in. First breath when your head's been drowning underwater And it's the lightness in the air when you're there chest to chest with the lover It's holding on though the road's known Seeing light in the darkest things And when you stare at your reflection Finding hope in the world of days I know that you'll thank God you I know where you've been, where you are, where you're going I know you're the reason I believe in life What's the day without a little night? I'm just trying to set a little light Like my life ain't mine. Who can relate? Woo! I've been on the low, I've been taking my time. I feel like I'm out of my mind. It feel like my life ain't mine. Making fun of me. I finally wanna be alive. I finally wanna be alive. I don't wanna die today. I don't wanna die. I finally wanna be alive. I finally wanna be alive. Wow, okay. Yeah, that was really powerful. <laughs> wow. It just really... God, sorry, guys. It just really upsets me to think that people feel... People feel that desperate. They get so desperate. They feel there's no other way. And they take their own life. And it just... It breaks my heart because I just want to scoop everybody up <laughs> and just keep them safe and just say, it's okay. Oh, God, that is such a powerful video. Just such powerful lyrics and it really hit home. People are going through this every day. People are struggling, especially with everything that's going on right now with the whole COVID thing. There are people that have depression and anxiety 
and mental health issues and they are struggling even more. Nobody knows what's going to happen in the future, how long this is going to be around for. But I do believe that everything gets better. And I know that's easier for me to say when I'm not going through mental health issues. But it gets better. It, it really does. If anybody's watching this and they are struggling, do not be ashamed. There is no shame in admitting that you're struggling. There is no shame in asking for help. And if you ask somebody for help and nobody seems to be listening, you ask again and you ask or you ask somebody else. And if that doesn't work, you phone. You phone a hotline. You phone and speak to somebody. You go to someone for help. Do not suffer in silence. Do not struggle alone. Because this breaks my heart to think that people do struggle. I actually thought, oh my God, I, I, I thought I figured out where this was going, that he was actually going to take his own life because, you know, he kind of felt that he couldn't stay at home after his dad discovered his secret. And then he went to his best friend's house and he felt really welcome there. He felt accepted. But then his dad found out their secret and he had to leave the house. He was sleeping in school and his coach found out and spoke to his dad and just helped him out and wow if you know somebody who struggles for mental health issues somebody that you think might not be themselves or might be having a hard time reach out to them please reach out to them because just asking that person not just asking for the sake of asking asking and actually meaning it asking that person could be life-changing it could mean the difference between that person taking their life and that person feeling like they they matter enough to be alive to stay alive so please reach out to somebody that who you think is struggling who you know is struggling don't let them suffer in silence because this could be the result where you and i say this could be the result thank god it ended up happy um, he got married and they adopted a kid and but it doesn't always work out like that. For a lot of people, they see no other way out but to take their own life. And it doesn't have to be that way. Wow, this this blew me away. I kind of thought I'd be able to hold it together. I didn't expect it to kind of get to me quite like that. The more artists, I think, need to do things like this to raise awareness. I think things like this should be put out there. And I don't know whether it caused controversy, whether people, some people might may have found it too uncomfortable or too graphic to to share especially with the whole gay thing as well as the suicide prevention and and all of that around it it shouldn't be mental health shouldn't be a controversial subject suicide prevention stopping somebody from killing themselves shouldn't be a controversial subject it should be a matter of humanity and you do everything in your power that that if you know someone's struggling that you everything in your power to stop that person from hurting and from struggling and from thinking that they have to do something like this and the whole gay thing should not be a controversy anymore come on people we're here in 2020 we shouldn't be having this controversy around being gay there is nothing wrong with being gay you love who you love you're attracted to who you're attracted to you know you're living your life and you should have every right to live your life the way you want to live it and if that means as a man being with another man or as a woman being with another woman, hey, it doesn't matter. You're not affecting anybody else's life. You're not expecting anybody else to go and, go and sleep with you that objects to you. Think, well, what makes you think that they'd want you anyway? With an attitude like that, why would they want to be with you anyway? <laughs> I am so glad I got round to seeing this. I'd seen reaction videos coming up on my recommended uh, on YouTube and I'd kind of held off reacting to it I'd sort of like you know put them aside on a little watch later playlist and and I thought oh I'll get round to it and I hadn't and then I thought do you know this keeps popping up over and over maybe I'm just going to react to it anyway if you loved it too please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with more reaction videos and I will see you in the next one take care guys bye I've been on a low, I've been taking my time I feel like I'm out of my mind